Hello friends, this video is brought to you by www.mwayteaching.com. Let us read the question. Find 3 by 7 plus minus 6 by 11 plus minus 8 by 21 plus 5 by 22 clearly all the terms are rational numbers so the procedure would be to find the LCM of 7 11 21 and 22 we find that LCM of 7, 11, 21 and 22 is equal to 462. So now let us add all the given rational numbers. Our LCM is 462. We get 3 into 66 plus minus 6 into into 42 plus minus 8 into 22 plus 5 into 21 let us solve this further we get 198 minus 252 minus 176 plus 105 whole divide by 462 which is equal to minus 125 whole divide by 462 and which is the required answer let us read the question find the value of Minus 4 by 5 multiply by 3 by 7 multiply by 15 by 16 multiply by minus 14 by 9. Let us use commutative property for solving this question. Which says that if we multiply A with B, it is same as multiplying B with A. That means we can change the order of multiplication so let us change 4 by 5 multiply by 15 by 16 into 3 by 7 into minus 14 by 9 now easily we can solve 4 is 16 7 2's are 14 and 3 3's are 9 which gives us minus 3 by 4 into minus 2 by 3 which is same as solving further 2 to the 4 and 3 and 3 get cancelled get 1 by 2 hence commutative property has made solving the question easier as it allows us to rearrange the question. Let us take up the next property of numbers. We know that 2 plus 0 will give us 2. Minus 5 plus 0 will give us minus 5 and minus 2 by 7 plus 0 will give us minus 2 by 7. In other words, 0 when added to a whole number or integer or a rational number doesn't change 
the number. So, 0 is called additive identity for rational numbers, integers and whole numbers. Let us now try to find the multiplicative identity. If I ask you that what should be multiplied with 2 so that we get 2 or with minus 5 to get minus 5 or minus 2 by 3 to get minus 2 by 3. Surely your answer will be 1. So we can say that so we can say that 1 is multiplicative identity for rational numbers, integers and whole numbers. Next we introduce you to additive inverse. Let us find out what should be added to 5 so that the answer is 0. We know that answer will be minus 5. What should be added to minus 7 so that we get the answer 0? Your answer would be plus 7. Similarly, for 2 by 3, we need to add minus 2 by 3 so that the answer is 0. Here, minus 5 plus 7 and minus 2 by 3 are the additive inverse of the respective numbers 5, minus 7 and 2 by 3. And we notice that additive inverse for a positive number is a negative number and for negative number is a positive number. That means additive inverse of minus 8 by 9 will be plus 8 by 9 while additive inverse of 11 by 2 will be minus 11 by 2. Let us understand multiplicative inverse also known as reciprocal. If you are asked that what should be multiplied by 5 to get 1? Your answer should be 1 by 5. Similarly, if you are asked what should be multiplied by minus 2 by 3 to get 1? Your answer will be 3 by minus 2. Here, 1 by 5 is the multiplicative inverse of 5. Similarly, 3 by minus 2 is the multiplicative inverse of minus 2 by 3. Or simply we can say that 1 by 5 is reciprocal of 5. Similarly, 3 by minus 2 is reciprocal of minus 2 by 3. But if you are asked, to find a number which when multiplied by 0 will give us 1, we cannot find any such number as 1 by 0 is not defined. Hence we can say that 0 has no reciprocal. And we can also say that reciprocal of a by b is C by D if A by B into C by D is equal to 1. Let us read the question. Find the additive inverse of minus 7 by 19 
and 21 by 112. Let us do the first part. Finding additive inverse of minus 7 by 19 means what should be added to minus 7 by 19 so that the answer is 0. Clearly, if we add plus 7 by 19, our answer will be 0. So, 7 by 19 is additive inverse of minus 7 by 19. Now let us do the second part. Again to find additive inverse means what should be added to 21 by 112 to get 0. Clearly minus 21 by 112. So we can write that minus 21 by 112 is additive inverse of 21 by 112. 